STRONG REACTION FOLLOWING AN EXCLUSIVE FIVE ON YOUR SIDE INVESTIGATION INTO A GROUP OF OHIO CHARTER SCHOOLS. SCHOOLS SPENDING YOUR TAX DOLLARS OVERSEAS. ON YOUR SIDE, CHIEF INVESTIGATOR RON REGAN JOINS US WITH MORE ON THE FOLLOWUP FROM HIS STORIES. RON? WELL, LEE, ONE STATE LAWMAKER SAID OUR REPORT UNDERSCORES <clears throat> THE LACK OF OVERSIGHT INTO HOW CHARTER SCHOOLS CAN SPEND YOUR MONEY WITH NO ACCOUNTABILITY. Horizon Science Academy on South Marginal Road in Cleveland is a blue ribbon school nationally recognized for excellence. Well, ever since I came here, it seems like my education has been better and my grades have improved greatly. So I would like to thank Horizon for that. But our investigation into this school and 15 others across Ohio turned up a money trail, leading here, a half a world away, to Turkey. A trail state auditors call an illegal use of your tax dollars. Auditors found immigration and legal fees for school officials, families, and others living in Turkey, including some who auditors found were never employed at any of the schools. State Representative Matt Lundy fought for increased oversight over charter schools in the legislature. I think taxpayers have every right to be upset that these dollars are actually going to pay for foreign workers on visa to take jobs and work in positions that we know that we have plenty of qualified Ohioans to do. We reviewed state audits over the last 10 years. We found a total of nearly $13,000 for immigration and legal fees for 19 Turkish immigrants. I would love to have oversight so that this doesn't happen. In fact, I think this should be stopped immediately. I don't think it should be happening at all. And this Horizon Science School in Dayton signed this lease agreeing to send nearly $600,000 over five years to the owner who lives in Turkey. It's just not responsible. It's, it's reckless. And the schools have since discontinued the practice of paying immigration fees and have paid back those fees for schools in both Cleveland and Toledo. Meanwhile, the Ohio Attorney General's office confirms while the money was paid back in 2006, the schools did not notify it of the reimbursement until yesterday after we began asking questions. And I encourage you to read the school's full response to our report on Newsnet5.com. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.